Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to build a colour spectrum beacon. This is a contraption that rotates stained glass over the top of a beacon to change the colour of the beam so it goes through all of the colours in a loop. I initially made this contraption on the Hermitcraft server where we ran into a few issues trying to create this and thanks to the help of the community I've been able to fix and improve this contraption based on your feedback. So thanks for that and over here is the colour spectrum from start to end with the beacons underneath so we can clearly see all of the colours this contraption will rotate through. There are 36 colours in total and this pattern for changing the colours of the beams has been chosen to give a smooth gradient between each of the colours. Let's now look at the contraption itself. You may notice there are two sets of glass for changing the beacon beam's colour. This is done to fix an issue with the beacon reverting to its default state while the blocks are moving above it. There are other ways to fix this issue, however they are not as effective as having two strips of stained glass. The strip on the bottom moving first, then the strip above. To do this we have eight sets of pistons that fire the bottom four first, then the four on top. These pistons are powered by a clock in the centre that sends out a signal to the pistons in the correct order to rotate our glass blocks around in a loop. It's now time to start the tutorial and for this one I'm not going to do a block by block construction. I am however going to explain each of the key parts of this build. It may look big and complicated but there are only really three parts to this build and I'll of course give you all of the information you need to rebuild this in your own world. Let's start off with the materials needed to build this. You will need 32 pistons, 3 sticky pistons, 17 blocks of each colour of stained glass, 42 regular glass, 9 repeaters, 2 hoppers, obviously you'll need some items to put in those, they are for the hopper clock. You'll also need 2 comparators, a block of redstone, around a stack of redstone dust, plenty of half slabs and of course you'll need a beacon and some iron blocks to make it work. Once you've got your materials prepared for building this, then you're going to need to clear out some space. I'm going to assume you want to build this underground, if not then it's no worry, but if it is underground, you're going to need 15 blocks across in this direction, 10 across in this one, and then 10 from the top piston all the way down to the bottom here. Of course you're going to need more space down below for your beacons, so if you're going to have a big bunch of iron blocks to have some effects on that, then keep that in mind as well. But once you've cleared out this space, the first thing I'd recommend doing is figuring out where the tape is going to go. Now the tape is 13 blocks from this one right here, over to the space on this side, and then from the space there to the block on this side it's 8. And then once you've figured out that rectangle shape for where your tape is going to go, you'll probably want to build up the walls of pistons next. So these are just 8 pistons all facing forward in one direction, and you can pause the video here to get the redstone. We've got a block at the bottom that comes from the clock which controls all of the pistons, and then it just goes up on these half slabs. Notice that these two blocks are full blocks, and that is actually quite important, and we've also got a repeater here as well. And then you've got to repeat the same thing on each side. As you can see, there is no difference in the redstone. So once you've built all four sides of your pistons, then what you want to do is go into the middle here and work on the clock. So this is just an EFO hopper clock. You can have one item in here that will run it as fast as possible and then the more items you add to it the slower it's going to run. So at the end here we have a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it and that's to get the one tick signal. So we have a repeater here, it's on the default setting and every repeater that you use in this build should be on that default setting as well. So then the redstone goes over to this side and it powers all of those pistons. It also goes over to this one and then when it goes to the the other two corners you'll notice it's got two repeaters to keep the one tick pulse but to add two ticks of delay. Once you've done all of that I would recommend temporarily disabling the hopper clock so you can place in all of the glass without the pistons pushing it along. I'd start over on this side remember you've got a space in front of the pistons and you also have a space on this corner over here but you just want to work your way around in a circle placing down all of the blocks and this is the pattern over here. If you look at it, it is actually quite simple to understand how it works you want to build this once and then once again on top of it because we have two rows over here and you just want to follow this from left to right. So I'm going to move across slowly. You can pause the video as a reference to get all of that but if you look at the pattern and figure it out it's actually really easy to memorize and just copy when you want to build it. But there you go that's all of the colors from one side to the other. So you can pause the video at any time if you need to remember them. And that is how you build the Colour Spectrum Beacon. A big thanks to the Snow Crash for their video with a solution to double up the piston tape. The Snow Crash is a new channel in the Minecraft community. I would recommend checking them out. They make some really great tutorials and interesting contraptions. You can find their link in the description box down below. But that is it from me this video. If you haven't seen one of my tutorials before, then make sure to subscribe for more of them. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.